Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just had a conversation with Dr. Eight and Dr. Klein, and a little extra with Boros, about the state of affairs of the people who came before us. And now we're going to ask a couple of the other doctors. We're going to start with... Dala, I think. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank, fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Uh. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination inducing fear, mm. most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear facing me. Epidermis fleshed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Like now? Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Um... The quick scribe jumped over the lazy paladin? Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. Uh, the hell? Uh, uh, there's something there that I need to have a higher perception for, so I'm going to pop a quick mentat, although I don't know if I want to anymore about it. Uh, where is it? There they are. We have a lot of mentats. And you return as curious as a teddy bear. They're not that curious. Are you stuck in a looping gesture of greeting? They're actually inanimate objects. What do you mean, looping gesture of greeting? Looping, yes. It is a scientific fact that hormones drive a percentage of lobotomites into recursive behavior patterns. We haven't okay. researched this, as my colleagues care little about the behavior patterns of lobotomites once their brains are removed. It is why so many are littered around the facility, like skin envelopes, discarded after they are peeled open and the contents extracted. Well, that's kind of rude, just leaving bodies sitting around doing nothing once the brain's out. That's... that's disturbing. So what sort of recursive behavior patterns are you talking about? It varies according to the number and density of lobotomites that have infected an area. Okay. In 43% of observed cases, two lobotomites left alone will fight for dominance or inject bodily fluids into each other's orifices. Um. Unsanitary. I have tried to observe more cases, but subjects seem unwilling to release bodily fluids in my presence. Can you really blame them? I mean, you're sitting right there while they're doing that. I don't think anyone would really want to be doing that. Be perfectly frank, you're a brain in a jar. I can't help but notice your fascination with the human body. What? Nonsense. Uh-huh. <laughs> These are gonna be weird. Close eyelids, breathe deeply, then stretch languidly. What? What are you doing? Turn and cough roughly, then slowly scratch nose. Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? <laughs> Run your hands along the side of your face, then exhale rapidly. Enough. I am already intrigued. You have sufficiently percolated me. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It, it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. Uh-huh. 
You were a freak when you still had a body. I guarantee. <laughs> you are all a bunch of hypocrites, claiming superiority, but you miss being human. Admit it. I, I cannot deny it. The illogic of it. The betrayal of our own beliefs. I blame my curiosity. <laughs> I could, <laughs> I could come back anytime and just breathe if you want. <laughs> Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. If you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly. Ooh. Ooh. Purple, purple, ooh. Blue, blue, blue. you used in the last part that was something else okay who are you and what do you do here why am I little bear of teddiness I am Dr. Dahl Wait, call me that. first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. That is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer fieldwork and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. Two hundred and eleven doctorates, and most of them are in things that don't make sense, like curiosity and advanced curiosity. What? First head chief researcher, a lot of titles. What is a name without a title or suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. That's redundant. We could not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. I'm sometimes called a courier. Oh, a mailman. A delivery man. Over Someone who takes okay. parcels from place to place using their primitive feet or similar conveyance. You are the second one I've met in recent times. Very different specimens. There was another courier. Of course. You must have met others in your travels. Oh, yeah. This one had met other couriers, too. Although it sounded as if he hadn't met the correct one. He asked us all many questions. And then he asked a most perplexing one. We had to segment the event out of our memories for safety. For safety? What was the question? I do not know. Nor should we try to access it. Perhaps Klein has the logs. Okay. My evaluation would be to let your own curiosity go. I do not think that Klein remembers the conversation as being satisfactory. Alright. So the other courier came and went after asking a question that you pushed out of your head so far you don't even want to touch it. This is gonna be something. So why did you remove my brain and how? Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Is it? Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. Well, duh. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack, snip, 
Done. The brain is finally free of the skin envelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. The bottomites. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. But how am I still walking and talking? That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. Okay. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. You're not wrong. You still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you slurped? could humanically reduce yourself again. Slurped? I'm going to use that word, like, forever now. <laughs> and... So, let me get this straight. I, I don't think I can get it straight. Just... Oh, boy. Uh, could you tell me about the big empty, uh, big mountain? This mountain, now crater, encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. It is big mountain, where all questions can be answered. Gotcha. You'll see. No matter what your questions, Big Mountain will provide the answers, as it has done for so many before you. Previous test subjects? Oh yes. We've had other subjects visit. Okay. It's why we had to calibrate the pacification field and warm up our brainial beams and vivisectors. Only a short time ago, we had three minus one subjects arrive and they ruined several experiments, and even injured two of our staff. It is a shame their brains left with them. With you, however, we have taken precautions to ensure that problem won't repeat itself. We've conditioned you so you can't speak of this place, discuss our secrets, or attempt to use force against us in any way. Isn't that nice? Yeah, about that. 3 minus 1. Does that include the courier you were talking about earlier? Why did you say 3 minus 1? Because 3 minus 1 is 2. Two spoke to us, one after the other. One mean, one curious. But there was a third we didn't speak to. Okay. The last one is the minus 1. It got traumatized, then taken to one of our medical centers for de-traumatization. A rather unsettling procedure okay what happened with the rest of the visitors ask dr o and you could have asked eight once until he was severely damaged in the attack we like him better this way that's rude i had other questions perhaps you are stuck in a looping gesture of verbal intercourse did you have to use the word intercourse is there any way to remove the pacification field? Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. But that'd be fun. Then I would have to return the favor, activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. From behind? Not something I would relish doing. Sound like you did. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the bottomites here. Okay. I think we've Until spoken our enough. next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Alrighty then. Well, that was somewhat illuminating and somewhat creepy. Let's talk to O. Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Ooh. Its purpose? Unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here? Unpossible. That's debatable. I think you mean impossible. Oh, really? Now the lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. A little bit. What, do you have a doctorate in verbology? No? I do. And... Stop the presses. Just in from my eye monitors. Is that Rob Koteca on your arm? 
It is. What's your agenda bringing that in here? Oh, you mean the Pip Boy? Some problem with Robco? How dare you bring Robco Tech in here? What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are? Um... We can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses of Big Mountain can make in the last a thousand years. Uh, you're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. Ugh. Damn Robco. Calm down. Just wanted to ask some questions. Fine. Ask. I will. Jesus, he really has a thing for Robco. Do you have another name? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. Oh. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. <laughs> Makes my gel ripple. Makes the gel ripple. Are you sure? I'm a good listener. Got the ears for it. Great. Psychology. Clearly the worst of the sciences. Right after Colosto Diuretics. Okay. So the my name is an O. Never was. It was circular. A single character. Digit. But not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Number. If they kept confusing the letter with the number, your name is... Dr. Zero. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Alright, so you want me to call you Zero, or...? Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, alright? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. I mean, you're not Truth wrong. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh, vivisect me, please. <laughs> uh, I'd need to have a higher intelligence for that statement. I had other questions. Fine. Uh, I heard you and H were attacked by previous visitors. I don't like to talk about it. Uh -huh. Eight, he can't talk about it. They fried his voice module. Something good. Ooh. It wasn't all the visitors, though. Only one of them got out of control. He's the one that took control of Little Yangtze, our old human farm. Oh. The one that... What? <laughs> I don't think we've learned about him yet. Okay, so tell me what happened. This human. I can't believe it. He broke out of the think tank in seconds. Seconds. Then he went for Yangtze, got bomb collars, and started practicing on the subjects that were still there until he got the right frequency. Oh. We were sending robots to stop him, and he was slicing and cutting through their shells with some souped-up laser gun like they were cheese paper. Cheese when he hacked paper. into the mainframe, A tried to stop him and got fried. Me? He rerouted my processors to take control of the train network here. If you see the tunnels with the trains plowed into them, you can thank our visitor for that. I've seen a couple. He wrecked the whole place. Jeez. While we were trying to keep containment on the surface, turns out he used one train to punch out a tunnel and escape. Sealed now, but... Who were the others? Two other human specimens. One arrived not long after the Troublemaker. Mm -hmm. And the last one, not sure when he showed up, thought the first one was going to be lobotomized in Y-17. She got out somehow. Okay. The last subject, Klein might know more. He talked to him, and let him leave the think tank. Hope he knew what he was doing. Okay, first one, guy, fucked the whole place up. Second one, girl, apparently traumatized by the sound of it from Dala, and left. Third guy, is a guy, talked to Klein... Apparently was the curious one, and went away. Just like that. Okay. So, why would Klein know more about that? Klein knows things we don't. And I think he told some of those things to the last visitor. Oh. Dangerous things that they ever got out. Gotcha. I need more of those worthless caps as ch to test the CIU barter function upstairs. I'd have a few left. Let me check. 
Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Fair enough. Sounds good. I think we've spoken long enough for right now. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Till then. And I think... Do I have scientist scrubs? I do, but they only go one up. I think I do have some scientist scrubs that go up two, though. Um... Why is some of my guns... There we go. Some of my weapons and apparel were not showing up. I'm like, huh? The stuff I had equipped, even. Anyway, that was weird. I guess we'll talk to Klein about that, then. Yo, Klein. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? No. We need them, as I have indicated. I know that. I heard one of your previous visitors from the dome previous visitors to the dome, rather, spoke to you, asked you some questions. Hmm? Oh, yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. Mm -hmm. An interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. I think you mean impossible. What did okay. we speak about? Melancholy fellow. Had questions about uh, history, but... History. Our conversation got interrupted. Twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time... Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe? You believe maybe? Oh, well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. Um... Yes, a most goodbye. Okay, yeah, goodbye. That's a thing. Someone left with a lot of knowledge they might not have needed to have. And they failed to stop him from leaving with that. Hmm. That's a thing. Huh. Well... That's probably not good for them. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode for right now, and I'll continue on uh, trying to figure out a way to help Dr. O feel better about his name. Or Zero, rather. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. Take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. Decide whether or not you want to support me in making more videos for you guys or not. It's completely up to you. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.